something blown up bright. You've got to do it yourself. Hey, this is Bowen. We're here at the Papa facility just outside Pittsburgh to play some Batman. This is Batman the Christian Bale version, not Batman the Val Kilmer version or Batman the George Clooney version or even Batman the Adam West version. This is the good Batman. Uh, we're going to try a few strategies here. Uh, I recently read on the internet a, uh, uh, a post titled, How to Score a Billion on Batman in 35 Shots, uh, which astounded me, but it actually works. And so we're going to try that first off here and talk to you about that strategy. But uh, just to let you know a little bit about the game in general, the game has two main multi-balls, the Joker multi-ball and the Scarecrow multi-ball. And you can earn those by shooting the two corresponding shots. There's a third multi-ball called Bat Signal Multi-Ball, which is achievable once you've earned the Joker, the Scarecrow, and the Batmobile at least once during the game. So as we play, we'll try for all those goals. We're going to try right off the bat to nail that billion. And believe it or not, the billion comes from the Batmobile. So we'll plunge first to get the Batmobile skill shot. Whenever you plunge the, bo the ball, the shot you choose off of the in lanes here, one of those three, will be doubled for that game. So as we get control here, the beginning of the billion is to start the Batmobile round, which is the shot right up the middle of the, of the game. And then concentrate on the right orbit. The uh, right orbit, the bad pod shot, normally gets ignored because it's basically not useful. But during Batmobile, that shot advances the value of the Batmobile hurry up. So let's start the Batmobile hurry up, and I'm going to be concentrating on the right orbit. So there's a shot for the right orbit. We'll grab it with a live catch, and basically, we're going to try to do this as many times as we can. The hurry up gets increased each time, so now it's 1.75 million. Another shot, and that was a missed shot there. So we got to get it back to the left flipper, and then concentrate on that. What we can't do is shoot either the Batmobile or the left loop. And there's a timer on this, so it actually runs out of gas pretty quickly. So this is not an easy thing to pull off, but it is possible to do it. I don't think we're going to do it here, but it was worth a try. Oh, and that is backhandable, isn't it? Isn't that nice? Hurry Up is now increased to 4 million. And believe it or not, this thing just keeps going. There is a huge amount of points in this strategy. 5.5 million now. Oh, and did I point out that the Batmobile shots have been doubled? Oh, yeah. So actually, the, when you complete this, if I can complete it, the shot right now would be worth 11 million, not four and a half million. Oh, look at that backhand. Love that shot. 7.25 million now. Uh, what is it now? Uh, oh, uh, 9.25 million. So we're, clo we're not closing in on a billion here, but oh my god, is this a lot of points. Where are we now? We gotta get the ball back and get around that loop again. Nine point, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Um, of course, you know, lose, not losing the ball during this is very important too. But uh, 14 million, uh, 16 million. Off we go again, and it's 19 million. Oh, tried to do a post transfer there, moving the ball from the right flipper to the left. And unfortunately, that post transfer bricked badly. But let's we'll see if we can get it back on the, the, the uh, hurry up counting down pretty badly. Oh! Blew it. But you see the point of what was going on there. Basically, continue to shoot that right orbit. Uh, then shoot the left orbit once, and it'll actually double the value. And then shoot the Batmobile to cash in the value. So what you just saw was an attempt at that. I'll try it one or two more times. Uh, in a separate game, but uh, let's carry out the rest of this game. The other two shots to be doubled are the Scarecrow and the Joker, so let's go go at Scarecrow on this ball. Batman, like some of the other recent CERN games, has sort of a dual multi-ball system where there are two main multi-balls, and one of the strategies you can use to pretty pretty good effect is to try and pair those multi-balls with one another. By that I mean using one of the multi-balls to help you push your way through to the other one. You can backhand the Scarecrow shot. If we can backhand the, back pot, the bat pod, as you saw on ball one, we can certainly backhand the Scarecrow. And now this crane comes out. You need to hit the crane five times. I know you can't see that ball that's on the crane from the top down perspective, but this crane is a ball at the bottom of it, and it moves every so often. So depending on where and when you choose to shoot it, that left shot tends to be pretty safe, so I'll beam that one first. 
And the shot all the way to the right. Different shots tend to be safer than others. But um, once all five shots have been completed, there's two. There's three. And we got two more to go. The fifth one will start the multi ball, so you want to save the, the most sort of drainy one, which is the center shot for last. The other way to do this is to start the Joker multi ball and do all the things I'm doing now during the Joker multi ball. So I'm going to hit that one. Backhands are safer than, four, than uh, forehand shots. So by that I mean shooting it from the inside is less draining than the outside. And we're also going to start this bat mission. Basically, when you, whenever that's lit, you want to shoot it. And as you've been seeing me do, almost every shot in this game can be hit from either flipper. Uh, backhands tend to be safer. And they're also something that players tend not to do, tend not to think about it as an option. So let's start the multi-ball here. And now during this multi-ball, I'm also going to try to finish the mode that was in progress by shooting just all five shots uh, for the... Uh, the other major task I'm going to do here during this multi-ball is concentrate on shooting the Joker. The reason I'm shooting the Joker is that I'm advancing towards the Joker multi-ball. And that was very poorly played. The thing that I forgot to do was shoot Alfred to, to toss another ball onto the play field as an add a ball. So that was really pretty disappointing, actually. Um, Imposters is still running. Let's, uh, let's try to advance towards Joker a bit more here. There's also a shot on the left when it's lit for question mark with the four in lanes. That will award a random thing. And the best is light multipliers. It comes up about maybe one in every five shots. Uh, so when I get to the light multipliers, I'll talk to you about what that entails. But multiplier is an opportunity to double up a specific shot for the remainder of the ball. And uh, you, can con you can basically choose which ball you prefer to, choose which shot you prefer to make in that, uh, in that sense. So what I tend to do as an overall strategy is whenever that question mark is lit on the left, uh, you want to hit that. Cast it in, you're going to get a reward for it. You do have to hit it all the way to the hole in the back. So light lock, that's good. That's a good thing. It means less dangerous shots to Joker. Uh, the ideal, of course, is light multipliers. The Joker shot can also be backhanded. You want to cash in the locks whenever they're ready. And ideally, overall, a general goal in pinball is take fewer dangerous shots. I've started Batmobile now again because mainly because I want to try for the uh, uh, for the. Bat the Batmobile light completion that's in the middle here. And this is Batpod Multiball, one of the newer features in the newer versions of the Batman software. Uh, effectively, that the reason this exists is that right loop is generally disregarded as important. And what I use this Multiball for is to cash in bonus advances, try to light multipliers, basically ignore the actual Batpod Multiball aspect of this, and play out the rest of the game. Completing Batman, so like Bat missions, trying to advance, to trying to advance the uh, light multiplier shots, and uh, trying to knock down the Joker target to advance locks. Just things that you would be normally doing otherwise, you can still do during that round, as long as you're not concentrating on the actual Bat Pod multi ball, which is, and maybe I'm wrong, but I've generally found that not to be very valuable. It's not even as valuable as the Bat Pod shot during the. Uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. During the bat hurry up, as we saw in ball one, ball's out of control now. We gotta get in a stance to retrieve it. There we go, back in play. Um, during extra K Lau or any of the modes, really, all the modes are the same in this game. We may as well start advancing ourselves towards the uh, the Joker multi ball at this point. Joker multi ball is ready and just missed it. I'm not happy with uh, the current situation on Joker multi ball because there's no multiplier. I've got Scarecrow doubled for this ball. Uh, so actually what I'd like to also do is advance a little bit towards getting Scarecrow going. Because the ideal again is to get both multi-balls kind of prepared and going together. So I'm shooting at Scarecrow here because I know Scarecrow values are double for this, this ball. Uh, that was just a poor play, but a good pull out there. There was no need for me to put myself in that kind of danger on that. What I'm trying to do is trap the ball coming out of here and then backhand it back into Scarecrow. And I'm not doing a good job of that, but there's a good live catch to get control of the ball. And one more shot lights multipliers. 
So at some point here, these lights with the X's are going to light up. So let's do that while the ball is in play, just to uh, to show what's going on with that. The second scarecrow, the, the the crane ball moves much faster. But I'm actually concentrating on this little mine shot, Mark Gordon, in front with a little white circle in front. The next time I shoot that, it's going to light an X, which means that one of these five shots will be lit for double scoring for the remainder of the ball. So the X's are now lit. The next shot I make will be doubled, and I want that shot to be the joker. So that was a missed shot to the joker there. It's very important to make this shot the correct one because whatever shot you make is doubled. And if you shoot like the bat pod here, you're just asking for trouble. So there's the shot into the joker, and I think that registered. If it didn't register, that would be disappointing, but it should have doubled up the joker now so that every shot to joker for the remainder of this ball will be doubled. In this case, that means the jackpots and super jackpots that I make during this multi-ball will all be doubled. So it's really uh, a, a nice thing to have, especially since super jackpots are fairly common on the Joker multi-ball. So there's a there's its double, there's another double, and the super is now lit, and it will be double super. So let's get that ball out of the way here. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. There's an out of ball from the from the uh, the Alfred shot and the super jackpot, which is doubled up for what it normally is. I'm also going to try to advance and get the scarecrow lit here because I've got a good multi ball rolling and I need two more shots on scarecrow. There's one. And we've got one more to go, but I've got to wait for the ball to move over. This is a good opportunity to show a cradle separation. That was not very well performed, but it was uh, successful in its results. So now if I can hit that ball all the way on the left, that starts Scarecrow as well. So both multi-balls are running now, Joker and Scarecrow. And with the doublers that I've picked up, everything that happens during these multi-balls will be double in value. And there's Batmobile lit as well. I'm going to play this Batmobile round out sort of in a normal way uh, so that I can actually finish it and uh, have Bat Signal ready to go when this multi-ball ends. Oh, that was disappointing. But I think I had a, a ball saver rolling on that. Uh, the bat pod multi-ball started again. I'm not quite sure of the rules on this, so I'm not sure how to get the... I guess I'm not sure how to get the Batmobile light at this point, to be honest. Uh, maybe I need to get a, uh, a super jackpot during the uh, Batmobile, the bat pod multi-ball. In any case, it's telling me to shoot that, so there I go. And now it told me to shoot that, so off I go. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody's going to have to tell me these. But uh, I thought that, that I would have the Batmobile light done by now, but apparently I don't. Light multiplier is perfect. I've got the Scarecrow and the Joker multiplier already. The next multiplier worth getting is the left loop, because if I get in a bat signal multiball, I'm going to want that doubled as well. So ideally, whatever I need to do to get that, multi that uh, Batmobile light on, uh, I should be doing that now. Unfortunately, the game isn't really clear about what it is I should be doing. Uh, I don't know. So decent totals in the uh, the multi-balls. As you can see, the bat pod multi-ball isn't worth anything. Uh, but the other multi-balls are valuable. And I do need that Batmobile light. I've also got six of the eight main lights going here. Lucius Fox and Bruce Wayne are the last two. To get Bruce Wayne, you need to complete the four bat missions, of which you see me play two already. And this is the start of the third one. Uh, so, so the missions just kind of happen. And the... Uh, the, the Lucius Fox award is easily the hardest one to get. You have to shoot the center shot basically something like 20 times to get enough um, items to shoot Batmobile ramp. So let's finish off the Batmobile rounds nice and fast here if we can get that done. And having finished that, now the Bat Signal multi ball will be lit. So I want to get a trap here or shoot the center ramp again. That was a little dangerous. Oh, oh, oh. I was lucky to get away with that, but now I've fed the right flipper to shoot the left loop. We'll start the bat signal multi-ball. Boom, shakalaka. So good stuff going here. We've now got the important doublers ready, which are the left loop, the, the, jack, the joker light, and the scarecrow light. Ideally, I'd love to have the Batmobile light doubled as well. 
But in general, in bat signal challenge, we get a, they get a trap ball here so I can explain the rules. The goal is to shoot all three of these shots once, and that will light a multi-ball. I'd love to get control here to talk about why I love this round. There we go. Once you collect each shot once, it will then light the bat signal shot to start a multi-ball at the value you've earned. But that value can, be gr can grow uh, by continuing to play it out. So you get into this sort of risk reward thing where uh, hopefully I'll get there and be able to describe it a little better. But first you have to make all three shots. So there's the three shots and now jackpot is lit which means the bat signal challenge can be completed by shooting the left loop. However, if you make more shots, instead of cashing it all in, you can give yourself more points and a higher starting value. So that shot will increase the value of the award. And you can basically continue to do this, but you're at your own peril. You're in single ball play right now. The jackpot, as it says, is only 237,000 if I cash it in. It's not a lot. Every shot I make will add 50,000 to that value and 100,000 if it's doubles. So there's 100,000 added. Oh boy, that's okay. Let's make the jack the joker shot there, add another 100,000 and that'll put this at 449. The maximum jackpot is a million and I argue that it's worth trying to get us all the way up to a million if you can uh, or cash in the shots that are worth 100,000s uh, if, if you have them. So now what am I at? 679? That's... Ah, let's stay greedy. I would probably cash this in in a competition, but come on, it's too much fun to try to get this maxed out. There's 849. Oh, dangerous shot there off that post. So the highest I can get this to is a million. At 853, this is seriously worth cashing in. So let's cash it in. And that now starts a multi-ball where every shot will be worth 853,000. And notice that if I had not tried for that additional points, I could have, I would have started a multi-ball where each shot was uh, 150,000. It really isn't worth anything by comparison. So bat signal multi-ball works a lot like bat signal challenge. You need to make each shot once, and then once you've made each shot once, you can shoot the left loop to cash in a jackpot, or continue making shots for more points. But at some point, you want to cash in that left loop and score the jackpot value. One aspect of this multi-ball that kind of gets annoying actually is that if there was a ball in the bumpers, it won't recognize the scarecrow shot. So you have to wait for balls to leave the bumpers for several seconds before shooting the scarecrow. So it's a good time to trap balls. And also there I noticed I had a ball save on so I can just let things drain and make shots with the other ball. Oh boy, let's get control here. So there's the scarecrow. I still need to make the Batmobile shot, so let's try a cradle separation. I'm trying to get fish one ball off of the, uh, the trap. Oh, that was a terrible trap there. But here we go, we got that going. So let's make this center shot from there. And now I'll be able to make the bat signal jackpot from the right. Bad shot there. But notice so I'm flipping the left flipper here to try and get a separation. I don't want both balls on the, on the left. There we go, let's make that jackpot. So that's, it said four million, but it gave me eight million because I have the doublers on. Everything is double now except for the Batmobile shot, which is actually kind of disappointing because the Batmobile shot being one of the three shots in this mode, uh, it would have been a lot smarter to try for that. If the longer balls play in Batman, the better they go because the more doublers you have, the more values are worth. That was a nice rejection out of the Scarecrow there, too bad. But uh, notice in multi-ball here, it's a good strategy to just let one ball play out. Like, I'm just gonna let this sit and wait. Get my ball, two balls trapped together and try to do a cradle separation. So I'm just sitting, waiting, letting my ball collect. Oh, that was lucky. Lucky not to lose the ball there, actually. And casting in shots while playing safe. I've got all the shots ready. Let's backhand that, get another jackpot, and cash in the total. 10 million, 12 million there. And that, the, I can't say enough about the effect of those shots I made before starting Bat Signal Multiball. If I had not made those extra shots and gone for the greed, 
these jackpots would not be 870,000, they'd be 200 or 100,000. So it's a huge decision to make. Oh boy, totally out of control now, there we go. All right, back under control. Here, the right play is to backhand the Scarecrow. And then try to shoot the Joker with the same ball. Wait, keep the ball on the left flipper under control. Nothing bad is happening right now. This ball is going to hop over or stay there. And if it stays there, you do a cradle separation. Now with one ball on each flipper, you can choose to backhand the Scarecrow for a quick jackpot. Or try to shoot, what I should have done maybe there is to shoot the oh, bat signal to cash in the full bonus. But sometimes the cradle separation happens on its own as you just saw there. I didn't actually do anything there and the ball just separated on its own. There's another 12 million. I've got over 200 million now and to be honest, I haven't done very much in this multi-ball other than wait, make a shot. Wait, make a shot. Get control and make a shot. This ball's coming fast. I'll shoot up the, uh, the middle if I can. Otherwise, get control and backhand Scarecrow. Another bounce out of Scarecrow. That's actually fairly frequent, but I wish it didn't happen as frequently as it seems to. Oh, tight uh, move there. The other thing that happens frequently when you're trapping a ball or multi balls, you just saw there, is be ready to release the flipper because the ball, if the ball, if a ball is coming rapidly at you, you don't, you're not going to have enough time to react unless you lower that flipper. So it's cradle separate again. And this is just patient play, patient play. There I dropped the right flipper because I was concerned that it would come around. Patient play, get two balls on the right, wait it out. Uh, you could also there have shot the other, uh, the other ball up to uh, Batmobile, but the patient play is to just wait and make the shots with one ball at a time. And ho oh, ho ho, a little lucky there. Two balls, cradle separate, get control. That was a bad mistake there, but I got control anyway. And don't miss. Good live catch. Make this, and again, I'm trying to make all three shots out. And then collect the jackpot over at the bat signal. You actually don't need to collect the jackpot at bat signal because it's accumulating. I like to collect it because you additionally get an award off of the randomizer, which can give you that extra multiplier. Like, I don't have the Batmobile multiplied yet, and I would like to have that. And, ah, geez, bad, bad drop there. But a good multi-ball. What was the total on that? Come on, you add it up. Tell me. 90 million. That's a good multi-ball. All right. I also find, I find, by the way, that when you drop back down to regular play, it tends to sort of give you a deflating feel. So you almost have to wipe it from your memory and say, where am I? Imagine that you only have 2 million. What am I trying for? I want progress towards Joker. Scarecrow is still doubled, so I might concentrate on Scarecrow. If it is my old friend. The also, the last bat mission is ready, so may as well shoot for that. And that was a bad brick on the left loop there. Another bad brick. But there we go. Some uh, Batman's shots to the left loop like that are notorious for either lipping out of the shot of the hole in the back or not even being strong enough to make the shot to the back. I now have all of the items for uh, Bruce Wayne. Uh, so I've got, i am played all four modes. The last thing to do in order to get the big, the big award for completing all eight of the lights uh, is to get all of the Lucius Fox awards. Lucius Fox awards are on the mini ramp over there. And you have basically have to shoot Batmobile over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again to make that happen. So it's not hard so much as it is boring. Um, let's see, shoot right loop, shoot left loop, okay. Oh, it's still showing me that because I was in the locate the Joker mode, I see. I should have shot the right loop there. But uh, I can't apparently advance the Lucius even during this round, so I should be shooting the right loop. And I'm doing this because I need Batmobile in order to get back to Bat Signal Multiball. So it's not, this isn't valuable very much in and of itself points wise, but it is valuable in terms of a uh, strategic decision and, and I bricked it too many times, so it timed out. But shooting the Batmobile ramp and now I have three of the eight items. Like I said, it's, this is not very interesting play. 
Uh, it's worth doing because you do need it in order to get to the final mode. Is it exciting to watch? No. So maybe I should stop doing that, going for that. But I'm sure some people are wondering what happens when you finish all these lights, so maybe we should go for that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. So I'll see if I can get there during this ball, but I warn you that going for this is going to be excessively boring, and uh, hopefully there's a nice little bounce out there. The, go, the way to do that is to get the ball off of this post above the inlane and push that once up and it should bounce out. Most players, if you're waiting too long to say, oh, I'm in trouble here, you were already in trouble a few seconds earlier. So you should have pushed the machine. Players should push those machines much sooner than they actually do under those circumstances. So you seem to be shooting that center shot for Batmobile you know, far too many times. It's, uh, I'm, I'm really just doing this for the sake of trying to advance towards the Lucius Awards. So there's the Lucius Award for the Award 4 isn't even finished yet. Jeez Louise. Oh, again, this is just not going to be very exciting pinball. So there's Award 4 is finished. And you got to do that four more times? Oh, man. So I'm going to just play a little bit more. Interesting with multipliers is if you get all five multipliers going, you then get a sixth multiplier, which is sort of a flashing light. You can see it strobing around now. That will be a 3x light for the remainder of the ball. So at this point, all shots are doubled. The, uh, the, the uh, excuse me, the scarecrow shot is actually at 4x because the scarecrow shot was already doubled. So that shot four and a half million right there. That was not bad. Um, it might be a good tactic here to try to get back into the scarecrow multiball. Based on the, the fact that I don't want to shoot Lucius anymore, I'm just bored with it. Um, two more shots to bring out the crane. The crane, of course, is very dangerous, so deciding to shoot the crane is, you're, you're kind of asking for it if you shoot the crane too much. And this, by the way, is all that happens with the multipliers. There are no further multipliers to be awarded. So what you see now is the maximum you can get from multipliers. And 57x bonus. This is going to be a good bonus when this is all said and done. Back in that, that'll bring out the crane. And as with the earlier cranes, I'm going to try to play this as safely as I can. Have the tumbler fueled and ready. I, I don't really know how safe you can play this at this point, to be honest with you. Hey, I hit that ball. Give me credit for that. You stinker. Mark, I hit the ball. It won't tell me. I want to hit the ball. <laughs> <laughs> There's one shot to the crane, uh, and you have to make five of these. Ah, 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 ah! All right. The other way to play this is to start the Joker multi-ball, and we finally see the drain of ball too. It was a good ball, I gotta say. Uh, and uh, we'll multiply that out a few times. A little bit of bonus there. 20 million bonus. Not too bad. And uh, ball three. Let's try for Joker a little bit more than we have. We're going to double up the Joker by shooting it there. And uh, by completing all three shots at some point, it doubles the bonus for the ball. So what I'm going to try to do here is cash in the, cash in the, uh, cash in the crane. And by starting the crane multi-ball, it will allow me to shoot the joker more safely and easily for the remainder of the ball. And uh, I think there must be some rule involved in the third level of Scarecrow that I don't know. I see a, a strobing shot in the yellow lights as well. That maybe I have to shoot this while the yellow light is lit too? I don't know. Uh, but some shots to the ball aren't are either not registering or they are registering, and I'm just not. I'm just too stupid to shoot them when they, when I'm supposed to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, that that's my problem. Um, and nice job, good drain. So a poor ending to an otherwise fine game, and I should have concentrated a little bit more on Lucius there to try and drive that out. So Very what's that? Uh, 280? Not a bad score. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of Batman and just a tour of what the game has for it. Uh, we'll see after this if we can crank up the uh, the value of that jack of that uh, hurry up a little bit, and I uh, hope you get out there if you see a Batman. It's a good game, solid, a lot of strategy and energy going on it, and get out there and play more pinball.
Thanks a lot. Bye.